I wonder if they'll be able to do this. The idea is that the children with autism have a difficult time interacting with humans, uh, and there are various reasons why that's the case. One is that uh, they get overwhelmed with facial expressions, and I always say this, uh, we've got millions of little muscles in our faces that we're not even aware of. And uh, the children with autism have a tough time filtering the stuff, uh, all that stuff out. So it turns out that they can uh, interact better and more at ease with a humanoid robot than a human, even though the humanoid robot looks somewhat uh, or shares some of the main features with humans, it doesn't have millions of facial, facial muscles. So the idea is simply to give the child practice working with a social robot, humanoid or animaloid, uh, and <clears throat> getting comfortable, uh, and then turning to similar kinds of interaction with humans to see if that goes better. The robots don't show disappointment or frustration or boredom and that sort of thing. That's useful too because uh, uh, kids with autism pick up on that.